Okay, you will see we have a very quick video here and basically showing you how to use our calculator to solve some of these problems that are very common to probability. In this case, this is just a counting question. How many different ways can a true-false test be asked with 15 questions? Okay, so the answer key could consist of a combination of T's and F's. How many different ways? If you think of the fill in the blank method, there would be 15 blanks. Each blank would have two different possibilities, true or false. So it's just 2 times 2 times 2 to the 15th power. Okay. So to do that in your calculator, there's a couple of different ways. I'll zoom in a little bit here. And if we just do 2 and then carrots over here, whoops, carrots right there, 2 carrot to the 15th power, we hit enter and we get our answer like that. Okay. Uh, a lot of times though we want to work out probabilities of these things when you have two outcomes like true or false or left hand right hand those are called binomial experiments and we're doing 50-50 binomial so we're assuming that the probability of being um, like arranging a true and false or flipping coins having it be heads or tails that those are 50-50 if we're doing it randomly so this is how many ways can we have our true false test with 15 question be arranged if there are six that must be true. Okay, so this is where we're at Pascal's triangle and we'd go down to row 15 and we'd count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, we can do this on our calculator, okay? And the way we do that is we simply type in the number of like coins or questions, in this case it's 15, and then we go to math, so it's right there's the math button, and we go over to PRB. I left arrow once is easier than right arrow three times. Probability is what some other newer calculators say. And it's NCR. It's option number three. So if I do three, then it shows up 15 NCR. Now, the extreme left-hand case, that's when there would be zero heads. If I put in 15 NCR zero and hit enter, I'll get one but I'm not doing zero heads or zero um, true statements. I'm doing six, so I just do 16C6, and I hit enter. And so there's 5,005 different ways that I could have six true answers out of 15 total answers. So 5,005 is the total number of ways, okay? If I was um, doing a probability question with like 15 coins, it would be 5,005 out of 2 to the 15th, our answer for up above. So here's a one that's phrased as a probability question. What is the probability of seven puppies being born? Oops, I didn't finish writing. And let's say out of seven puppies, let's say five male puppies, all right? So that's just going to be seven NCR5 over then two to the seventh. Okay, so we can do that all in one go on our calculator. We can do again seven, there's seven, and then math over to PRB, and then choose option three, and then five, I think it was five, wasn't it? Yep. So there's a total of 21 ways, and then divide that by two carat to the seven. No need for parentheses and that's about 16.4%, all right? So that's how you do it. Good luck.